Um, basically on bike patrol, we our mandate is parks and beaches. So we'll uh, said see, right behind us or behind you is uh, Cedar Avenue Beach Access. So we'll go from there all the way down to uh, through Gyro, Rotary Beach, Trustwell, uh, Sarsons Beach. And then we go all the way back up every access right to Knox Mountain. Do you know how many kilometers you cover each day? Uh, no idea, but we actually ride about 10 hours a day. So, so it keeps you healthy then? Yes. Yeah. So um, did you start off as a bike patrol or how did that, how does that work? I, I personally started off on, on general duty. I had, uh, I had applied to be, be part of the bike team this year and I was one of the, the lucky ones. The vehicle behind me, uh, it was just parked at the intersection on, uh, on Lake Shore heading towards downtown. Uh, the driver was waiting to go through and I just noticed that it had an expired insurance decal. So after running the plate, I found out that uh, it was inactive so there was no insurance. So we pulled the driver over, the vehicle was going to be towed, and the driver was going to be issued a violation ticket in the Motor Vehicle Act. Um, as a bike patrol, do you usually uh, stop cars? Yeah, routinely if they're, uh, if they're causing some driving infractions, like I said, this is uh, in the Motor Vehicle Act with no insurance. Sometimes we'll uh, roll up and check for seat belts, um, people drinking in the vehicles, etc. So um, it's the element of surprise being on bikes, so it is uh, beneficial to us. And so, what's a what's a fine worth now? With the, what's going to happen to this vehicle? Under the Motor Vehicle Act for no insurance, it's five hundred ninety-five dollars. Um, it's going to be towed as well, so the owner of the vehicle will be responsible for paying the towing as well as the no insurance. Expensive. Yes, very.